One of the callers is construction worker Eugene Hogan. In 1995, he is walking his five-year-old Labrador, Drift. It was a normal Sunday afternoon, beautiful day, and it just leapt right over the bridge. And the cases keep coming. 2002, Ken Meikle and his cross collie, Hendrix. He just looked up and leapt over, right over the bridge. 2011, David and Louise McPhail and their Labrador, Sophie. I, I started shouting to David, Sophie's jumped off the bridge, she's jumped off the bridge. It just happened so fast, seconds. According to some reports, over 50 dogs in 50 years have jumped from the side of the Overton Bridge. Could the answer lie in the location itself? Is there something compelling these dogs to jump? It's enough for a local member of parliament to demand action, calling on the local council to erect warning signs on the bridge. This request is currently under review. But to get to the bottom of what's happening here, the council do call in internationally established animal behaviorist, Dr. David Sands, to investigate. The question is, why this bridge? Why Overton Bridge over all the other bridges that are here in this country? And it could be that this has this unique recipe of wildlife, of structure, of the number of dogs that are crossing it. And maybe that's enough to make this bridge unique over all other bridges. To find out, David is setting up a series of experiments. Surprisingly, dogs have poor eyesight. They typically see a much less detailed world than us, and their color spectrum is not as vivid as ours either. To learn if this is a contributory factor to their behavior, he starts with a simple experiment. A small camera is attached to the collar of his dog, Patty. What we've got to do is get down to a dog's level and see that world because it's different than ours. We're elevated on the average five foot, six foot, and so we've got a much greater perspective of the environment. The dogs have a very low level perspective. Because of their poor vision, they don't see the detail. So basically there's just this blur in front of them. The dog's inability to see clearly could be part of the problem. They've no concept of what's on the other side. They can't see the drop. So basically they're going from level ground to a 60 foot drop. And it's only when they get to the other side that they realize what's happened to them. But this doesn't explain what's driving the dogs to jump in the first place. What are they looking for? One of a dog's most important and primal senses is its sense of smell. Dogs tend to follow their nose. You know, their sense of smell is 100,000 times greater than ours. Humans harness this incredible ability to sniff out trouble. Sniffer dogs detect millions of dollars worth of drugs every year as they're illicitly smuggled through customs. And military work dogs save soldiers' lives by sniffing out roadside bombs and weapons in Afghanistan. Could some overpowering smell at the bottom of the bridge be driving dogs to jump? 